Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a January favourites video just to share with you some of the things I've really enjoyed using this past month and I've got quite a lot to get through, so let's get started. So the first item I've really enjoyed using are my Chanel dangly earrings. And I love this design because you've got the double CC in gold hardware with a black ribbon threaded through to uh, emulate the chain strap on the Chanel handbags and I just think they look so special and of course through the winter months I've been wearing a lot of woolly jumpers and sweaters and I just find that you know pairing them with these earrings it just adds that extra glamorous touch to any outfit. So I've been wearing these and enjoying them a lot this past month. Now the infamous British weather has a lot to do with my choice of favorites for January and none more so than these Hunter Wellington boots. And I think they are quite special. They're like no other wellies that I've ever seen before. I think they are really stylish. And for those of you who are not familiar with the brand, it actually has a very long history dating back to 1856. And it was actually founded by an American entrepreneur called Henry Lee Norris, who opened a factory in Scotland. And to this day, the headquarters is still in Edinburgh and they specialize in these special Wellington boots. Uh, but not only that, they also do other footwear, raincoats and accessories. And over the years, they have become a firm favorite of the royal family. Hence, they were given this special seal of approval. See the crest, the royal crest there, or coat of arms. Uh, and it says, by appointment of Her Majesty the Queen. So, you know what? If it's good enough for Her Majesty, it's good enough for me. <laughs> so, staying on the subject of footwear, then my next favorite item are these Ugg boots. Now, they are not your typical Uggs. As you can see, these are called, um, Paloma Sneaker, or Paloma. I think it's pronounced Paloma, but I'm not sure. Um, sneaker boots. It's probably hard to focus, but I will put the, the link um, to the website. And now I've always wanted a pair of Uggs, but you know, the, the ones that you normally see are the ones with really, really flat soles. And so that has always put me off buying them because I knew that they would not be comfortable for me because of my very flat feet. So as soon as I saw these, I just thought, right, I've got to have them because I've never seen any Ugg boots in this style before. And you can see it's got really nice um, supportive sole there that supports the, the arch nicely or lack of in my case. And uh, I hadn't actually planned on buying them but one day I was actually running errands and I just dropped my hubby's watch off for servicing. So I had some time to kill. And this was at the beginning of January when all the sales were on. So I was just browsing around and I walked past this shop called Office and that, you know, they sell shoes. And I walked past and I literally just stopped dead in my tracks because these were on display and they just caught the corner of my eye. So I did like a 180 degree turn, <laughs> I went back and I looked at them and I thought, wow, they are so cool, they look really comfortable. So I went in, tried them on, they were um, being retailing for 145 pounds, but at the time they were reduced down to, I think just over a hundred. And then there was a further 20 or 25% discount on top. So as, as soon as I put them on, they just felt like sneakers, but with the added benefit of this, you know, the wool interior and the beautiful soft suede, which is also waterproof as well. 
they were so comfortable and I just knew I had to buy them. And yeah, they I think they look very, very um, smart and stylish and um, but they are very practical as well. They're so warm and snuggly and I have literally been living in these. I've been alternating um, between these and my Hunter Wellies for this whole of January and even now as well because the weather is still pretty bad in, in the UK. So yeah, I can't rave about them enough. They are absolutely brilliant. So comfortable, so warm, yet at the same time quite stylish. Okay, well my next favourite is this SK2 RNA Power and the RNA stands for Radical New Age and it's a moisturizing cream and this brand is um, actually it's a Japanese brand now I'm a huge fan of Japanese and Korean beauty products but I've never actually used SK2 before because it's so pricey I mean it's it's on par with La Mer and um, so I've never really you know spent money so much money on skincare before so I was very again very fortunate to have been gifted this by my sister-in-law and um, she actually gave them to me um, last year but I've kept it in my drawer because I've had so many other products to go through and finally I'd finished my regular one uh, which is the Korean brand Innisfree so I finished that so I thought okay new year I'll start this and you guys, this is so fantastic because it's, um, this one here is the 80 grams one. Now I'll just tell you what it says on the website. It says, it's the latest anti-aging range. This cream contains revolutionary radical new age complex and patera. I think that's what it's, how you pronounce it. P-I-T-E-R-A, patera or patera which help to achieve firmness of the skin in 10 days by promoting structural protein synthesis in every skin cell. Skin becomes firmer, suppler, and the contours of the face look younger and more defined, etc., etc. Now, all I can say is, um, usually these kind of cream are I've, well, some of the ones that I've used in the past, I have found very heavy and sticky as well. But with this one, um, it's just so light. As you put it on, it feels really light and hydrating. And also you can feel it absorbing into the skin really quickly and it just leaves it really moisturized but leaving no sticky residue at all it just feels very velvety in texture and it's just lovely as you put it on and uh, and it comes with its own little spatula which is always handy and i think it's really lovely i mean i've been obviously you know with the uh, crazy winter weather in the UK I've literally had the heating on almost day and night which just dries out my skin and this has been really really good um, sometimes I use it in the morning um, but mostly I use it at night um, before bed and when I wake up my skin just feels still feels quite hydrated and it is pricey um, for this one well for a hundred grams it's actually retailing on one website called costsmede.com I'll put a link um, oh, I can't see it I, again I'll put the link in the description box and it actually retails for 161 pounds for a hundred grams but at the moment, they're doing a uh, discounted price of £139. And I know it is expensive still, of course, and I wouldn't normally pay that much for skincare at all, but I have really, really enjoyed using this. And I think it really does work for my skin because I have sort of normal to dry, um, I have dry patches, and 
other products I found will absorb into the skin but then I'll, the, the dry patches will just come back um, quite quickly and this one just keeps my skin hydrated throughout the whole day and it just feels so nice and yeah I think even when I finish this this is one that I will actually buy again so it's worth a try so my next favorite is this cologne from Joe Malone London and this is a, uh, a limited edition which is in collaboration with Huntsman and again I was very fortunate to have been gifted this during Christmas by a very good friend who's also a mentee and uh, even though this is from the, men, the men's range I do think it's unisex and the, this scent is absolutely gorgeous and ever since she gave it to me I have been using it almost daily this one contains amber and patchouli and what it says on their website is for decadent evenings wrapped up in the sensuality of amber a heady pairing of a legendary ingredient with deep characterful patchouli and it really is you've got this sort of woody smokiness it's sweet without being sickly and it's just so sexy but without being overpowering so I think it's one of those scents that you can wear throughout the day and into the evening so this is really nice Jo Malone Huntsman cologne in amber and patchouli and finally the last two items are my Prada soft tote and also my Louis Vuitton batignole and these two bags I have been using throughout these past two months really because of the horrendous weather that we've been getting I mean only just a few days ago we've had gale force winds and rain torrential rain and to a point where you can't even carry an umbrella because it would just overturn so time at times like that I would just grab this bag which is in nylon and it fits everything you know it's just one big compartment but it's got a huge zip pocket you can see Prada made in Italy and I just love this bag because I don't have to worry about being caught in the rain it just wipes clean and you know it's still got this a slight sort of luxurious touch to it you know with the the lovely Prada emblem at the front and um, it's got leather straps and it's it looks a little bit like a neverfull um, but it's just you know for weather like this I really don't have to worry about anything and then on the days when it's kind of gray and windy but no rain then I will use my batignol my trusted batignol I've had this for years and you can see um, there's quite a nice caramel patina on the uh, vachetta but I really like this bag because it's so roomy this is in the mm size and this one is made in Spain actually but I get so many compliments on this bag it's an old bag but it, and it's also been discontinued as well but a lot of essays compliment me on this bag because they they say oh, it looks really different and it's it's a really nice style and I've, I've never seen this style before and it looks you know just really nice it's not like the the neverfull where it's sort of of course it's, it's the more iconic and and um, popular style um, and so whenever I use this bag it's just the right size and I do always get compliments on on it but I, I love it because it I can fit anything and everything you can see it's really wide but it does have the d-ring um, so it does have the clasp and the, the d-ring so it does you can sort of close it together um, but yeah it just has a slightly 
different look. Um, it's the MM size. It's just has a different look from the Neverfull, but at the same time, it just fits just as much. So I really, really love the uh, this Batignol. And yeah, so these two bags are the ones that I have been using pretty much every day throughout the past month. And that's it. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and also the items that I've chosen as well. So like I said, for the links that are available, I will put them in the description box. So if you're interested in purchasing them as well. So once again, thank you so much for watching. And for those of you who are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing to see what else I get up to. And if you did like this video, please don't forget to give me a like. So until next time, take care and don't forget to smile. Bye bye.